Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I am Nikita and today I am going to talk about antigenic shift. It is a kind of genetic variation or antigenic variation. I have explained this term in my another video. I will link it in the card somewhere. But basically it means any variation in the sequence of the gene which determines the epitope or the antigenic determinant of an antigen is known as antigenic variation. Simple. Antigenic shift occurs only in influenza A virus. Why so? Influenza A virus has a broad range of host. It can infect humans, birds, ferrets, pigs, etc. So, more number of host meaning more opportunity to produce different variation. That's the reason antigenic shift is only observed in influenza A virus. On the other hand, influenza B and C, both the strains or other subtypes, infect only humans. So, human influenza B virus cannot variate so much in the same human population. That's the reason antigenic shift is always linked to influenza A virus only. Next, it enables a flu strain to jump from one animal species to another including humans directly or indirectly. So, what happens is influenza virus A from one population, let's say it has infected a bird, it will jump to another animal population like pig or maybe human. That's where flu strain is benefited. It can jump either directly or indirectly. Now let's define what is antigenic shift. It is an abrupt, drastic, discontinuous variation in HA, NA or both genes resulting in a novel virus. But before even understanding what the definition of this, we need to know what is HA, NA genes. Influenza A virus has two surface antigens. One is HA which is hemagglutinin Second is Na neuraminidase. Both have essential functions in infection. So what happens is antigenic shift occurs in HA or Na or both. And usually this change or this variation is, you know, all of a sudden the variation will happen. It is discontinuous. It will not happen on a regular basis. Like once in many years this change will occur. Why it is drastic? Because the effect of the novel strain is so you know magnificent that the antigenic shift is called a drastic variation and of course it results into a novel virus. Three ways of antigenic shift. First from bird it will be jumping directly to human without any mutation. Second, from bird, it will be transferred or infecting the intermediate host, which can be pig, ferret, any other host without any mutation and then from the intermediate host to human. And the third way, both human influenza A virus and the bird influenza A virus infect the same cell of the intermediate host and further it will be infecting human. So this is the basic but you should always remember one particular term which is reassortment. Antigenic shift is a very specific case of reassortment of genes. The genes in be it bird influenza A virus or human influenza A virus, the genes will be same. The function is same, right? So, mix and match will happen of that genes. That is known as reassortment. Don't worry, I will be explaining you with a diagram. I am back with a diagram. Okay, so before even explaining something, let me just brief you about what I have actually drawn. Influenza virus 
all the strains are A strains. Irrespective of the strain, uh, I would tell you another fact about influenza virus, which is it has eight segmented individual genomes. Okay, so and I never had enough colors. I'm very limited to four markers. That's the reason I have drawn differently the eight sections for avian flu and it's a little rectangular for human flu A. HA is the red color pointed part. NA is more of a spherical. Same goes here. This is an avian flu bird coming from a bird. This is a human flu A coming from a human. Both co-infect co-infection as in infect the same cell at the same time an intermediate which is this is my cell of the pig i know pig looks a little funny but yeah i tried to draw it for you this is the intermediate host and uh, then the reassortment takes place and this is the novel strain which will infect another human this is the cycle now let me just brief you about how exactly antigenic shift happens so this bird has this avian flu a it will infect the same cell of the pig when it is infecting it will obviously inject all the genome inside the cell so all the eight sections are in the cell similarly the human flu A will be injecting its genome. Now inside this cell is the game. What happens is reassortment takes place like mix match of the genomes because essentially they have the same functions right and here you can see there is four rectangular genomes and four wavy genomes. So what basically happened is red and green was there of avian flu black and blue were there of human flu and ultimately you got red and blue on the novel strain as surface antigen. So when this is infecting humans, what will happen is the previous antibodies to the predecessor strain will never work against this. And that's the reason it causes, you know, major epidemics or pandemics. Usually, uh, it is said that influenza pandemics are like roughly you know, four in 100 years or one in 40 years. So, that's the novel strain and that's how it causes pandemics. Now, the analogy to remember this is because reassortment is a very essential term which is associated with antigenic shift. It's like... This is a dad. Mom, both will have their genomes recombined and a baby will be produced. Progeny. Essentially, it will have characteristics of both mom and dad. That's how it happens. But the thing you need to remember is this progeny or the baby would not be using mom's identity card, right? It won't be using dad's identity card. It will be having its own identity. And that's how you need to understand the antibodies for this virus is not present in the human population at all. And that's how it can easily spread drastically and widely. That is the concept behind antigenic shift. How actually the reassortment takes place? This is an entire topic which we can discuss anytime later. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.